Raj, in KZN now, where EFF and ANC councillors have exchanged blows in their Tegrini council. This after police were called into the Durban chamber following arguments over a 1.9 billion rand conditional grant allocated to repair infrastructure. EFF KwaZulu Natal Secretary Nkulego Ngubane joins us now for more on that. Ngubane, good to have you. Thank you very much for your time. Give us your side of the story, because what we are hearing, at least from the province uh, uh, African National Congress today, is that your behavior um, is, is a serious disregard of the law and disrespect of voters of the Eteguini municipality. Um, you're spitting in the face of those who died for freedom and democracy. Well, well, how do you respond to that? Well, thank you very much, uh... Uh, and good evening to your viewers. But uh, firstly, we wouldn't want to respond to the ANC in Wazul Natal because they have long failed the project of liberating people of Wazul Natal. But uh, especially a lunatic like Pegim Tolo. Pegim Tolo is not to be taken serious. He's a failed mayor of Kokstad. There is a statue there in Boxstar that is supposed to be there. Pegim Toro knows he must answer to those allegations because there is supposed to be a statue there, but I'm not there for now. Let us deal with issues of a Tegwin. Yeah. Then the ANC in a Tegwin. I'm not, I'm, we are even wondering as the economic freedom fighters, why is the ANC shaken? Because all the, our councillors did there was to hold, was to hold our employee as the a council. The council employs the municipal manager, the city manager. In this instance, is it is in Bale, a city manager. Um, we are wondering why is Mtolo shaken, but it confirms our diagnosis as the economic freedom fighters that uh, the, the officials have captured the government in Etewin. You know this, if I were to narrate a story now to all the viewers of South Africa, the EFF went and took the... We are not in a coalition with the ANC, by the way. There is no coalition with the ANC. We got a seat, ex seat. By virtue of having an ex seat, we have that uh, seat, uh, that uh, infrastructure committee yeah. in Etewin. Yeah. So when we got into the... We, the diagnosis we made there is that the officials of Etewin have captured the city Politicians have got no say, including Kaunda as a mayor. So what is literally happening there, happening there is that the, the city manager, the Mpel, is just a tourist. He does not know what he's doing. Uh, there are about uh, 36 appointment letters. You'll you, you know that it has been hit with uh, two disasters in just a short space of time, yeah. 2021 and recently. So now... The national treasurer is saying it's, you can't do this. You, you, they are, they are, they are taking the money back to municipalities that are serious about yeah. service delivery because in a Tewin, it, it, it's just impractical that you are going to spend this money now. How can you spend what? 1.2 yeah. billion in a space of uh, months. six months. Yeah, six months. Let's clear some of these claims firstly and then we're going to come to to, to what, what, what you're raising around this money that is in return. Are you in charge of the Human Settlements Department as the EFF and the Engineering Department, the Transport Authority and the Water and Sanitation and Electricity Departments and the Cleaning and Solid Waste Units? Yes, indeed, we are in charge. Our Fighter Chamber Mvubu is a chairperson of infrastructure. Yeah. But let me clear the air. Because in Eguruleni, Johannesburg, and Tswane, it's a executive system. Yeah, it, it, it fighter Chamambu, our chair of infrastructure is not a, 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 a is not it, it is not a MMC, as you want to call it. It's just a chair. So every decision that the EFF has to pass. Must have the authority from council. So it's not, uh, Chamber, Fighter Chamber Mubinete when it's not an MMC. Ours is a mayoral system. It's not like an executive system whereby MMC have got some powers to say, hey, this is a budget and pass, this is what's going to happen, this is yeah. what's going to So everything we've got to do 
now I'm, I'm even responding to Peggy Mtolo, yeah. the lunatic uh, the secretary of the ANC, to say they are the ones that are failing us because we've been engaging them to say, hey, Congress, come, let's pass this budget. Let's use this 1.2 billion. The people of Enanda, the people of Ogwamash, the people of Mjepin, the people of Mlaz are suffering because of the floods, we know. Yeah. But I want to clear the air. Tembamvubu, the fighter of Etewini, is yeah. not an MMC. So he, he, does that mean the, respons that the responsibility of ensuring that the, the budget is deployed does not fall with him? It does not fall with him. You, as a journalist as well, you've got a responsibility to understand that. I even see every time you refer, you refer to him as an MMC, this is where I see it. No, there's a, a problem here. He's not an MMC, he's just a chair of infrastructure in a Tewini. Every decision must go to ex committee and then council must approve. Yes. So everything, the EFF comes up with a very beautiful program in a, a Tewini programs in the Winnie part. Yeah. We must still go to ex executive committee and then council must approve. So that's, so that's, 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 that's what I'm trying to get to. So you, you are I saying you, you are saying Mr. Mpele as the chair of the portfolio committee, not an MMC, he would still need to come up with programs that would have been presented to council on how services would need to be delivered to the people of Etiwini. Yes, that's the system we are in. I'm not. It's not me saying. It's the system we are in. Yes. We, we've got a chair of sport, a chair of uh, these this committees. All there are all lots of committees in the Yeah. Like all other municipalities in Guazunatal. You will remember Guazunatal is the only province that has deputy mayor. Right. You remember. Right. That, that, that does not have uh, a, 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 this thing of. Uh, like MMCs, but we have deputy mayors and yeah. all that. But we are not in a coalition with the ANC. This is why they are deputized by the NFP. We are not in a coalition. We just got there by virtue of having a sufficient vote. Yeah. So remember, we are the, the third largest party in it, we need right. after the DA, the ANC, DA, and EFF. Yeah. So we just got there by virtue. So we hold the ANC accountable. We do not have to account to the ANC, right. how we hold them accountable, yes. especially because the, our system requires them to support us. So when we put a motion, we, 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 we just put a motion. Yeah. We don't engage with anyone. Right. We think if we say let's insert security card, the ANC and the all progressive forces must support yes. us. But did, did your deployee there then make presentations to council that were blocked? Are, are you saying they made presentations on how that 43.7 billion Rent budget should be dispersed, and they were blocked in in the in the council by the majority of 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 the the, the ANC and and whoever they would have partnered with. No, you know we are even missing the point now. Mm. You know, it, 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 our deployee doesn't even have to do that. It's the finance committee and the mayor that must deal with that. And the portfolio committee comes with the recommendation from infrastructure. That's what we've yes. done as the economic freedom fighter. That's what we I'm trying. That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. So you came with recommendations of of of, of yes, what needs to be done. Yeah. By the way, we are not just consenting. I saw some uh, people there on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, thinking we just come there and consent. No, we've written about four letters, four letters to the speaker to the uh, um, uh, city manager, we've written to the, uh, the, the that guy, who's that guy, uh, Mayor Kaunda. Yes. Yes. So the, 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 the city manager of a Tewin is a problem. By, but Ukaunda must automatically fall because if we say the city manager is a problem, Ukaunda is the immediate supervisor yes. of a city manager. Yes. So he must he is a collateral damage. So once we, we, we say city manager must fall, it's automatical that Kaunda must fall. They, it, meaning the ANC must fall. That's why we are saying Ukaunda with his city manager because it's failing. You remember the mayor is the immediate supervisor yes. of the city manager or the municipal manager. Right. So Ukaunda has dismally failed to supervise this guy. This guy is always overseas. 
He doesn't sign contracts. He wants bribes. By the way, we're on record. We're in a dem- we have a damning evidence against this guy. Everyone who, who wants work in Etiwin must come to Mbele and pay bribes. The guy is a taxi, uh, taxi, taxi rank manager who we were recently received that report that the guy called him Bele is a taxi something. The guy belongs to a tax industry. He's it not even a municipal manager, that guy. So let's, let's look at then this issue of the, is it 1.8 billion or 1.9 billion that would have been returned to Treasury? Uh, Mayor Kawunda says that money has not been forfeited. They've not forfeited any grant to National Treasury. What was done is that they applied to National Treasury for the rollover of that unspent conditional grant because they only received, for example, the disaster recovery grant in March 2023, three months before the end of their financial year. Now, in terms of the grants framework, municipalities have got to spend that money in 12 months, and therefore it would have been impossible for them to spend that municipal grant because they only received it in, in March. But uh, who are we to believe Mayor Kaunda? Who are, in, who are sitting with reports here? We are not Tamsaki. The National Treasury says, even if we are to do a rollover, but in, it's, it's practically impossible for you to spend this money due to procurement processes and everything, unless they want to do it the ANC way. But the National Treasury told them, this is why we were fighting in cancer. This is why we were fighting in cancer. The National Treasurer has made it very clear that it's practically impossible for them to do that. Remember, it's not the first uh, instant. It's not the first incident. Maybe it's the third time under the, the, this uh, city manager. It's not the first incident. This is the third time under the city manager that the, the tre- uh, National Treasurer has to take money back because of incompetence which at times borders on ill-discipline, because this Ill- city manager is ill-disciplined, the politicians can't rain on him. So as the EFF, who can't be part of that, who are going to rain on him, and he's going to be fired with the, uh, his mayor and the ANC as well. So yeah. Begum Tolo can throw ten trams as much, as much as he wants. If he invited EFF to this coalition, he must chase us out tomorrow, if he has power to do that. We always see him, but we're just uh, busy today. That's why we had to respond this late, because we're busy uh, at Tim Shabialingana. We are dealing with election structures. We've got no time for lunatics like Pegim Tolo, but we'll uh, 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 actually respond if we're yeah. called upon to do so. Have you got a response for the speaker, Tabani Nyawo, also, who has committed to investigate the conduct of the EFF councillors? No, it's not in you know, it's not in you know, our right as the EFF. The speaker, they have rules of council and everything. So we can't say don't do this and don't do that. You know, councillors have a uh, conduct. They must conduct themselves in a particular way. Nya also knows why he says that. Even though I've not, uh, I'm not privy to that information. I've not seen that. But councillor Nya also, as a speaker, he knows what why he says that. The, he must investigate. Fine, he must investigate. There, there is no problem with that. EFF were the first ones to hold people accountable, even in parliament, legislatures, and councils. So we've well, got no problem about that. We must, uh, he must investigate. So as far as this matter is concerned, then when you return to council, you will still be demanding the removal not, now, not only of the city manager, but you're saying also of of the mayor. No, I didn't say we must remove the, the mayor. You said it's automatical. I said it's automatic that yeah. if a mayor, because the mayor is the immediate supervisor of a city manager yes. or a municipal manager. Yeah. So if a municipal manager is removed for incompetence, yes. it then says a, a collateral damage, yeah, like but, a kaunda. But, but there are no things that are automatically in council. Things are passed via motion. So I'm, then I'm asking you, will you be putting forward a motion, however be it automatical or whatever, for the mayor then also to be removed? Yes, of course. We want everyone to be removed from the ANC. 
Uh, actually, we want all councillors of the ANC out there. If it was our call, we would be governing that municipality alone. We would be governing. So we want everyone to be removed. So Kaunda must go. We'll put a motion for everyone to go, actually. Not even Kaunda alone. So everyone must go. Kaunda. Uh, but Kaunda is a failed uh, mayor. Uh, a long time ago, is a, I saw him is trying on my piano now. I, I saw he's a up and coming artist. So maybe he must try that with him barely because they dance with him there at Tewin. In a Tewin, we need serious uh, professionals who are going to take service delivery and and make it a priority. This is where we are as the economic freedom fighters because we can't be part of. Uh, because when you judge us, as you are saying now. Hey, hey, EFF, we are, part, we are part of government in a So when we hold people accountable now, it is what we are doing, exactly what we are exactly as we are supposed to do. And after everything, we we'll ask the EFF, what have you done? Why the ANC has been doing this under your watch? Now we are doing exactly that. Before this is the end of the term, we are doing it. We are not campaigning, it's not 2024. We are just doing exactly what we are supposed to be doing to hold the ANC accountable. Ulego Ngubana, appreciate your time. Thank you very much.